Yeah. Bag it up in a trap, we bag it up. If your bitch in a cut, I'ma bag it up. My wrist on walk and my bag is up. If he try and violate, we gon' tag him up. I can see the hate, got him mad as fuck, never satisfied. Need a crib by the lake with a bad chick. If she got cake, she'll back it up, uh. I got no time to parlay, unless it's big checks or parlays. I've been bricked, it's not far away. Like the split and I stargaze. Consultation with the constellations. They said the world was in a dark phase. It got me desperado for protection. Carry big strap in a guitar case. She ain't a slave to the bands, even though they make a dance. He ain't a slave to the check, but wouldn't hesitate to take advance. See me, I need my independence. I ain't signing deals or shaking hands. Unless it's record distribution, I got major plans to expand all i know is make a bag spend some dough and make it back make it stack flashback of being broke seeing smoke blossom from a seed of hope a tree of dope and i'm soaking it absolutely the most of all my vehicles i need to see my full potential see i broke my pencil even though my temple's free of pressure i don't need the extras i'ma bag it up in the trap we bag it up if your bitch in the cut i'ma bag it up my wrist on what come my bag is up if you try violate we gon' tag him up i can see the hate got him mad as fuck never satisfied need a crib by the lake got a bad chick and she got cake she'll back it up what bag it up in the trap we bag it up if your bitch in the cut i'ma bag it up my wrist on what come my bag is up if you try violate we gon' tag him up I can see the hate, got a mad as fuck, never satisfied. Need a crib by the lake, got a bad chick, and she got cake, she'll back it up. Work. All right. I have returned. I'm back. I'm gonna talk about some some shit that's happened over the weekend, and I kind of missed it because I was out and about. Um, I I remember. I think so. Anyways, anyone who doesn't know, like Drake, um, dropped a diss track, I believe. But I think uh, people thought it was AI at first or something like that. What's up, Bow? Um. I wasn't home. I wasn't around. So I I really didn't see it for a good minute. I just didn't see it. I wasn't around. Um and then apparently Rick Ross like answered off wax. I feel like it could have he could have had it in the chamber and just waited. Or maybe he really made it as soon as he heard what, what Drake was doing. But I heard it I heard Drake hasn't officially dropped out. Is that true, Bao? I think you would know. And if you want to hop in and talk, you can talk if you want. But um is it is it's it's, it's it's like it leaked, but like People are hearing it. So I've only heard it once. Um, we're gonna hear I'm gonna listen to it one more time on stream. So we're gonna we're gonna listen to it. And then we're gonna listen to what Rick Ross did. I like I had it on when I was showering, but I didn't really take it in. All I heard all I heard was the end when he was like, White boy, white boy, something but something about a nose and then he's like tweeting and like see with me, I don't call me old school. Call it misogyny. That's for the bitches. Coming on Instagram live on some like that's women. That's how women fight. Just fight or go in the booth. Like I'm not with all the extra shit. So yeah. And the Drake this is just a leak. It's not official. Ross just released his diss officially on streaming services. The Rock this was weak as hell. He should have kept that shit to himself. Um, my question was really why was he involved in the first place? But I heard that um. He he sent a cease and desist to French Montana, and that's a name I forgot. I completely forgot about that nigga. I have never listened to French Montana seriously, so <laughs> he's just not on my radar. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of weird. I'm like, I don't know why Drake has all these enemies. Um, I know people say he's the petty king and he just be fucking everyone's wife and shit like that. So maybe that's why. But um, that Metro line was was hilarious though. It wasn't a crazy bar. It's not a good, it's not a crazy bar. He's just like, nigga, you make beats, just make beats, shut up. And I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> he got one stray and it was a violation. <laughs> it was leaked? Okay. Ross released it. It was weak. Shut your whole ass to make some drums, nigga. I prefer the raps, but Ross is a funny nigga. The Metro line is just funny as hell. Nigga said, shut up and dribble. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Well, let's take a listen first. We'll listen and then we'll talk about it. Cause I have to listen to I, have to, I need it fresh in my head because I don't I don't I only heard it once. Um and make sure I'm listening to the right one. 
Yeah, I'm so I'm a, I'm gonna go for at least probably an hour, an hour, an hour and some change. So yeah, just slide, just slide when you can. Because I do have some things I want to say. But first and foremost, I never expected Drake to respond under any circumstance because he was big enough to ignore it. Unless Kendrick really came and violated with a diss track or something. Like, I felt like he still could have ignored this and be like, I'm the biggest artist. I sell out the most streaming billboard, yada, yada, whoop de whoop, and it wouldn't have mattered. Um, so essentially what I did was I overestimated and misread J. Cole. And I underestimated and misread Drake. But you have to understand, I don't follow these people's lives. So I don't know anything outside the music. I am going to I am gonna say this. It's not an excuse. It's just an explanation. In the defense of J. Cole, I think he realized where this was going and didn't want to be a part of it. I think that's really why he bowed out. Because I still don't think he's actually scared to rap with any of these niggas. But I really think he's like, oh, this is personal. This is not business. And I'm sure if there's skeletons in his closet, he probably does not want out. Because if it was just like above board, his business is competitive, I don't think anybody would go somewhere like you are on December 55th, you cheated on Melissa Holt. And he's like, fuck, you got a third child somewhere. You don't even know. Like, I'm sure Cole's like, nah, <laughs> no, I'm 40. I'm out of here. <laughs> Like, I'm out of here. That's just my take at this point. Because I wouldn't want to get in this mess. This nigga is literally beefing with everybody. It is the Avengers and the Justice League versus Drake. I'm like, nah, you're doing too much. That's that's too many punches in too many directions. I'm not doing all that work. <laughs> I want a one nigga, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> so, yeah. I think too many niggas were going at him for him not to respond. I think at this point, because of the albums and stuff, for sure. But I, you're probably right. Maybe he was never going to really do it, but they're like, oh, we don't trust you. We still don't trust you. And he's like, all right, bro, let's do this. But all right, let's listen. Um, I also have a couple of things I want to show you guys. Um, this, real, this, this, this is actually like a channel I just found recently. I just think it's hilarious. I, I'm a child, so I really love like these stupid, cartoony, like funny videos. So I want to show you some of these because I think they're kind of funny, like your, your terminal montage stuff. But all right, let's listen to I, th I hope this is the right thing. I'm guessing this is the right thing. But um, if it's not the right song, let me know because I forgot where I heard it. But uh, let's listen. Is that loud? That's kind of loud. That's my fault. Is that loud, y'all? Is that better? Tell me, tell me how the volume is. Yeah. Hey, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for real, you been shook up. I kind of caught that. I kind of caught that. Okay, so. Hey, still going with the I can never be man. nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm not in Tokyo okay. because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, whole career, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push-ups. Cool, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike All down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Like they said to what come, the fuck is this but he didn't say he had to come down to fight you because you're at the top. Okay. He, 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 he sauced it up a bit more. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20v1 nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Get more love in a 
city that you from, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, Thanks. I'm a six guy. Kid is named I'm a front too, runner. Really. Y'all nigga manager was Charles Lil Blunt runner. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash flowing, able bread out here tricking. Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. You call them gay? Chippendale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chip and nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Song, y'all got to not start the beef to. with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, murder. Money feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. What the fuck are you smoking on, I thought, I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna sing to me. Okay. Um I'm gonna I'm listen to Ross now. I've heard I, the Ross one I kinda heard in the shower. I didn't really listen to it like that. I just heard him talking at the end, something about white boy, white boy, white boy. So he called him gay. I'm about to listen to it. Hugs and kisses, don't tell me about no switches, it's hilarious because the weekend shit cause it's the weekend shit is XO. Oh, I got it. I didn't I didn't catch that. That's a good one. Nice, I'm glad I didn't miss that. By the way, the Whitney Bodyguard is the most injured line in the whole song. Drake is a slimy nigga. And also, there's a... What movie? He's also referencing a movie. But that was... Because I know that's Kendrick's wife's name. That's kind of crazy. Is that act putting your strongest soldier is nasty work? I was really keeping PG because PG's... Yeah, PG Lang. I know, PG Lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. I got that. Whitney Houston. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Um. That was good. It's not enough, but it was good. Um, my, 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 I mean, you know what? Let me hear, let me hear Ross first. Cause my, my hot take is none of these are really moving me like that, like that, like bad, but they're, to me, they're just like first rounders. Like this, this is not a takeover or ether level diss track to me. None of them are, but let's see what this fucking fat ass has to say. I don't listen to Rick Ross. So I apologize if I, if I'm unmoved already, I do not listen to this nigga. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost I'm gonna turn it up a little bit because this one's lower than the other song. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you T.I. Lee. You got it and you keep it tough if you be by me. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, spread through the yard and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping the gangster, when you see me, you check me.
White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me cause the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't wanna push me, I'm like, really, Woody? Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your- Bro, this was moving people? <laughs> I don't even follow- I don't even want to hear the rest. It's probably because he called him white. Pace, Weezy this gave you the juice. Another white boy at the park want to hang with the crew. Bullet surprise when they're switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got bitches to pay. Let you DM my hoes. But got bitches you can't. Let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home. And no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking they records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster. When you see me, you check me. You had operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. You sent the police, nigga, hating on my dog project. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing nigga so fucking stun in your life, nigga. Uh, I, 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 I had enough, bro. It's after, because I didn't want to show you these, because they're, they're, they're fun and funny, but I had, I had enough of Rick Ross. Shut the fuck up, talking to me. Okay, <laughs> like shut, shut the fuck up talking to me, <laughs> fat motherfucker. Jesus Christ! All right, um, let's talk, let's talk. So yeah, cause I I, I know I know how this stuff goes, and everyone's like, oh my god, it's, everyone's going crazy. None of these are none of these none of these were crazy. This is first and foremost. They're not. They're all first round stuff. From Cole to like that to everything. Not nothing's crazy. So. I want to start with that, but there's 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 some things that I've heard that I'm like, okay, I like that. So I don't, I don't know if this is true. I was told this because I didn't really get the fifty part. Apparently, when he was with TDE, I guess that's why he went to to, to PG Lang. I heard that his cut was fifty fifty. So Top Dog or TDE, whatever, and Punch or something, they got like half of whatever he made, which is crazy. I don't know if that's true, but yeah. Um, sorry. Let me let me see what you guys were saying real quick. My fault. We ain't, we ain't letting Rick Ruff off that part in the past. That bar in the past. Yeah, you and he know it. Fat nigga. Kendrick will destroy push ups, and Drake has no choice but to respond with the same with similar energy. That is yes. Yeah, he's going to he's going to rip this this apart. This is this is way too. This is you guys know Doc could really rap like that. Def not ether, but this should now begin the start of a first round. Rick Ross is not moving me. I do. I don't think he's ever had a different flow in his entire life. <laughs> Has he has he the baby to every flow the same way? Maybe he did. Not gonna lie, he need Drake as a feature for this to really pop. <laughs> exactly, Rick Ross wasn't really cooking at all. This shit was low key trash, but hey, man, they only like it because he started calling him white boy. So he got a BB all and nose change. Yeah, this is what I said. Like all those, the, all of those antics that moves like sixteen year olds and children. I do not care about none of that. I really don't. Um, I just need to move this back down. My bad. Wait, I can't see the comments. Rock had to respond fast since he's not really like that. True. His antics outside were funny, though. Eh, not for me. Not for me. I don't care for it. The beat is so ass. It's really the antics on the gram. Though we called him BBL Drizzy. This is like when Thing used to call, what was his name? Kwame Brown was calling um, Matt Barnes Becky with the good hair. You just said Drake needed him on some of his songs. <laughs> he does need him. The drop him, give me 50 hit was way harder for the artist than it does for us. It also ties into the viral video of Kendrick doing push-ups in the park. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. Also in the video, when he's like, you know, turn off the foo-foo, uh, turn off the Wi-Fi, turn off the TNT, <laughs> whatever the fuck he was saying, turn off the nigga, turn off the mm -mm, turn off the mm -mm, mm -mm, turn off the... No, nah, Drake's almost... Drake's, it was good, like, it was solid. Like, again, I really listen to rap music, so, like, not, none of these bars blew me away. Like, oh, ah, make some fucking beats, nigga. Oh, BBL. Like, I'm like... We weighing in. Everyone's everyone's coming with solid shit. Be good, cause I still don't even think seven minute drill is bad. All things considered, for what it is, but um, I'd probably say Drake's my favorite so far, easily. Out of anyone that I've heard, 
So from, no, I'm lying. It's like that. But then probably Drake's. Probably like that just because, I don't know. It's between like that and um, drop and give me 50. Ross is not in the conversation, but Coles is third. He got the, I'm throwing the bronze at you again, bro. I'm throwing the bronze at you. But that's exactly what I'm going to say, Tao. The, the thing that impresses me about what he's doing is he's fighting the industry. Like, Kendrick is going to have to come at him. And Kendrick's on the side with more people. Drake's like, all right, fine then. Ross, Future. Future, I give you your first sing- hit single. Your first number one. I ain't no one's number one fan. Like, all of that. I caught it. He's, he's fighting everybody. <laughs> he really is. So that's why you have to give him props. It's not a 1v1. And the 20v1 was probably alluding to, like, those stupid videos with, like, one girl or one guy trying to get, you know, whatever. So, yeah. But yeah, um, let me see, 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 let me see. Drake will at least entertain. Props for the one, the one v ten in mad respect. Like that's still my favorite, but Drake did good. The hate on Rick Ross brings me joy. I mean, he's, he's, I just, it's, I don't even want to call Rick Ross a bad rapper. I just don't listen to him. <laughs> like the fattest nigga I ever heard was really like big pun. Cause I don't even bomb Biggie like that. Cause like when it comes to like the legends, I think my hottest legend hip hop take is I don't think Tupac is like that. I think Tupac has great energy. He can storytell, and he and he has um, and I like I like his songs, but I don't like he, he don't move me like that. Like I I like Big L. Big L is my favorite like dead rapper from the past. It's not even Biggie or like Pun. It's like it's it's Big L. That's just me. I'm not calling Tupac trash and unimportant everything, but he just, he never moved me the way he moved other people. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just me. That's just me. But Big L, <laughs> I love Big L. You could throw that on anytime. I wonder if the official is going to sound any different, if there is an official. I feel like it might sound cleaner, but I want him to just drop it. I wonder if he's just going to leave it in the ether like this, because I feel like Kendrick won't drop it unless Drake puts his chest out and says, I dropped this single, go stream and listen to it. And the, and the thing you have to give Drake credit for, too, is he made it a hot song. I'd listen to this just in general. Like, I, pro- I, I, won't ki- I kid you not, I won't listen to 7-Minute Drill. I'm going to keep the song because he deleted it, so I'm just going to keep it to have it. But, like... I changed, like, the name of it and my phone in a way where it's not in the album. So it's in a different section. So it, st- it stops at Trade the Truth in Ibiza. I um, might delete later. Um, Rick Ross, I would never bump that. Like that, I would only listen to Kendrick's verse. Mind you, I'm going to get on the future wave at some point, but I don't listen to future. I, I won't even lie. When Red Leather dropped and niggas told me Cole was on it, you know what I did, right? I skipped straight to Jake. Let me, let me show you something. Let me, let me show you something about me, bro. Hope you guys can see this. This is this is the song, right? Uh, we said, "Don't trust you." Red leather. I just have Cole's part. I put it in my editor. I cut everything out. I let Cole fade in, fade out, and that's all I got. I have no other part of the song. <laughs> uh, I did the same thing for like that, but I didn't keep like that. I deleted it after a fact. But that's just me. I'm a I'm a I'm an asshole. I I'll, I will cut if your verse is mid. I will remove you on my phone. <laughs> I will remove you. So, so yeah. Um, I'm a friend of Drake and Kendrick, so I'm just here to be entertained. Um, that's how I felt about the Cole and Kendrick stuff. I'm like I like both. I'm a J Cole fan, but I've never thought J Cole was better than Kendrick until he started killing everybody under his features, and I'm like, now I want to see it. And then I, I said, I said this a little earlier. I don't. I'm gonna I'm repeat myself. I'm not making any excuses. I lost. I took my L. I took it on the chin. Made a skit. Made fun of myself. I'm out the race. I'm just watching from afar now. I'm in the peanut gallery. I don't. I don't pretend in front and make excuses. But I do think Cole saw it was going here, and didn't want to be involved in personal drama. Think if it really stayed about just hip hop and above bar raps, I don't think he would have done what he did. But I think he's like, oh, this is not personal. Th- this is not business. This is personal. Drake is fighting like 45 niggas. Nah, I'm 40. I'm trying to be at peace. I'm out of here. It is what it is, though. He's still got he's, he's to tuck his chest in when he talks about being the best and take the bass out of his voice now because those bars will not move me the same for the time being. I will talk about it, though. He, has a, he still has a path to the top. It's just literally like super mega ultra extreme mode. 
but I'll talk about it after. Just don't let me forget. The same way I feel about 50, people call me crazy for that. I like 50... I like G Unit stuff, and I like Get Rich or Die. Get Rich or Die Trying. I don't dislike Curtis, but after that, I'm not really a Fifty fan. But Get Rich or Die Trying is a fucking classic. I love that's one of my favorite albums, hip hop albums, easily. But I'm with you on that. I wasn't the Drake one for sure. Tupac got the death tax. He's solid though. Nigga had the vibes. Yeah, I I honestly think being a Drake fan, Kendrick is going to eviscerate this nigga unless Drake gets deep, deep, deep into his bag. I feel it. Yeah, I listened to the Drake song literally early at the gym. How deep can Drake go? Most of what he said here was short jokes. <laughs> he had a couple um, good double and triple entendres. And there's probably a one-two one, subliminal that we didn't catch that only Kendrick would get. But he did He did just kind of like pip squeak, you know? Yeah, 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 you're right. Not trying to literally disregard everyone else. Drake is responding to on this and probably future tracks. But Drake v. Kendrick is what the masses want. That's getting built for over a decade. Yes, I don't care about Rick Ross. I don't care about Future. I don't care about Metro fucking booming. Nigga, make some beats. Like, I, I definitely feel the same way as Drake. Nigga, you do not rap. Just fucking hit some 808s and some hi hats and shut your dumb ass up over there. I seen that old tweet resurface too. I don't like Metro as a person, by the way. That's, that's kind of, I don't fuck with him as a personality from what I see. I don't like Metro. His beats go crazy though. I can separate that shit. I could be like... As a professional, I respect what you do, but I think you're a lame-ass nigga, and vice versa. I don't like what you do professionally, but I think you're a good nigga. So, I think Metro Boom is fucking lame. I think he's a corny, fucking lame ball. Wet. I just don't... I like, I'd, like, spit on that nigga if I seen him. Um, we need it. Uh, nigga got Derrick Rose flashbacks when the cold dropped. <laughs> no, not like this. I took my L, bro. One thing about Naya, I take my L's gracefully. I understand you live and you die with a shit talk. I could have sit back and just observed, but I'm like, I, my victory wouldn't be as as great if I if I played it safe. So I stuck my neck out. They all shot. You got chopped off. I'm dead. I'm in the grave. I accept it. It is what it is. Cole needs to go out of his mind on the fall off, man. <laughs> I'll talk. I'll talk about it in a second. Yeah, Malik Kendrick didn't say nothing crazy on either like that. As a first round punch, it's solid as hell. Now you're definitely talking to Kendrick. Even mentioned his wife. Oh yeah, yeah. Cole is still a great artist, but I'll never view him the same. Unfortunately, Metro was corny as shit. That's true. He did have a little spice, a little spice in the diss. Don't know about the Metro besides from business. What he got going on? Not just like his tweets. And when I see him talking, he'll say some some, some stupid like. I saw him some stupid like. What did he say about Cole back in the day? Like, if you'd still listen to J Cole or someone you or 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 was it Chance the Rapper you? Never truly had life changing pussy, and it's like, bro, you just tweet loser tweets. This is a what the fuck is wrong with you? What's a dumbass? Shut the fuck up. Um, I don't follow Metro close enough to have an opinion on him, but he makes good stuff though. And, and I, it's just it's just shit that I see through the grapevine because people will retweet stuff and stuff like that. Because like today they retweeted like a 2010 tweet of him talking about Drake would get all the pussy in high school, and I'd be mad about it. And it's like, I don't know, dog. Um. Okay, let me just say this, and then um, then I want to expand the conversation a little further. I'll say this because I, I I gave my thing on Cole. I changed my opinion on it. It's just that with me, I just realized that with, when Cole is rapping about like being super braggadocious on the mic, it just won't hit the same. I'm not it, that is it. Forest Hills Drive is not is not it's not now all of a sudden fucking trash because he did this or whatever, but. I guess I just I guess I kind of I kind of misread his temperament. It's kind of funny too because after hearing Red Leather, he was kind of like I was never on some toughest nigga shit. I was just a co conscious rapper that'll take a nigga bitch. I was just a college rapper that came from a rougher premises, and I'm like, no, you've had some talks and some songs where you go a little bit more into it, like you was more like you was a part of it, not just a bystander. And again, when he talks about being the absolute greatest. The body of work and the bars will speak for itself. It's kind of like if somebody in the NBA never wanted to challenge anyone directly and just let their resume speak for themselves. And as a man, I can respect you not wanting to do something that is not in alignment with your spirit because I actually think the the other layer to this that people aren't seeing, because I, I think J. Cole saw this coming, I don't think J. Cole believes what he said. I think that's the real problem. I don't think he thinks his discography is trash. I think that's why he rescinded it. Because that's like the worst way to go with Kendrick. You're going to attack his discography? 
He's one of the few artists I have ever heard with not a bad project. Now, granted, I have never listened to K Dot. So H N I C and stuff, I don't know. But from C four, Kendrick Lamar, overly dedicated and above, I'm the nigga who defends remastered on title or whatever. Levitate, 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 levitate. Lo- love won't get you high. No, no, no. I like that song. <laughs> Or get God on the phone, then it won't be long. I see Jigaboos, I see Naira. Like nigga, I, I, like he just he has no bad fucking project. So that was a disingenuous like take, but I'm with you. I'm with you. He's probably not in. He's probably doesn't have the like battle rap catalog in him. Or I really actually think he does, but not for Kendrick. I don't think he. I don't think he has anything for Kendrick. I don't. I don't think he knows how to attack him without maybe just calling him short because he's taller than him. I don't think he's got any angle. That's my. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. Um. I also don't think Cole being a beef. Not, he's not a mean person. He's just too good of a dude, I guess. Cole can never speak on being on the throne, though. Unironically, un- Joe Budden said it best. He's a good dude. He's not for all the personal shit. Yeah. He um. I think I heard him say like um thing is from Compton. You're from Fayetteville. Like geography matters. I'd argue that's true. And he's trying to get along with everybody as opposed to like beefing with everybody cuz I noticed something about him. Anytime he's in a anytime he's in a conflict, even if he starts it, he deescalates it immediately. I noticed that. I lo- I went back from like false prophets to a couple of other ones where it's like the only person I've never seen him apologize to or take it back is Kanye. <laughs> Wale, my fault. No name, my fault. Little Pump sat down and talked with that nigga. Like he's just that's why I could say like cuz I don't think you guys realize it's going to him c- coming out the way he did, he knew it would do more damage than good. So I respect that he's taking that on the chin that way. But I here's what so, so here's like my thing. I want, I, I don't want to focus on Cole. I want to talk about Drake and how underestimated them. But I want to say this. That matters as well. Yeah, he does. He's, he, I said, I said honestly, that made sense to me, because I wouldn't be on that type of energy. Because it's like, nigga, I'm not from the streets. I do not sling white. I did not see someone die at five. Like I, I, no, right? Cole cooked little pump, then interviewed him. Yeah, yeah, and then no name called him and like, them out. And he did a little weird song, and then like whatever. Like he he deescalates after that happens. I just I don't re- ever him. I don't re- recall him apologizing to, to Kanye, but Wally and them he did too. Um, shit, what was I gonna say? So here's his real path back. There's he, he has a couple of options. One, I don't know if he's still dropping. It's a boy. Kendrick's is a whole blood from Compton. You just built with that from a young age. Yeah, Pyru, Pyru, Pyru Crips or Pyru Blood, something like that, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's seen more. He's seen more. I'm not saying Cole didn't see nothing. I'm not saying he didn't go through anything, but I'm sure what him and Kendrick went through was probably night and day, and that instills a, a different level of hardness in you, right? Yes, I'm not somebody you want to fuck with. Like, don't fight me. I'll kick your ass. I know how to fight and stuff like that. But I'm not out here looking for smoke and peace. I'm looking for peace. <laughs> I'm not trying to fight nobody. I'm also 31. So, like, I'm too I'm, I'm too old to be beefing with people. And I, you're right. Now, I don't know if It's a Boy's dropping, which is why he said I could drop two classics like now. I don't know if It's a Boy has become what Might Delete Later is. Because I'm going to say this. Regard- it's hard in retro in retroactively, but Might Delete Later is still great. But let me just say this, and then let's move on. Move on to some to other people. Um, one fall off. The fall off has to be so incredible as a body of work that it just kind of rewrites history in people's minds. Two is Kendrick gives Cole a real reason to come out and think I have to do this. Win or lose or draw, I gotta come at him to the point where it's like I don't give a fuck that you leave that shit, stupid ass bitch. Fuck Wayville. I don't know whatever the fuck you're gonna say. Ah. Fuck, fuck Dreamville. I don't know, cause I, you know what, you know what, also kind of bothers me, dude. I felt like JID would have been with the shits. You and Jid could have been with the shits. I felt like he was about the smoke, bro, cause he nice with it. But um, a lot of the stuff that he does and says is just, it's just, it's just not gonna hit the exact same. Cause I still love Red Leather. That's a great song, but that song wasn't about him being the best rapper. That was just about him, you know, dealing with temptations of women and things of that nature. Like it's a great song, great record. The work and the skill itself will speak for itself. It's just people's perception on the man behind the skills 
is skewed, so they might not like it. So his work could just in resume could just speak for itself, and that's how he keeps his name in the game. Like he's, it's not going to ruin him as a rapper. It's going to ruin him from a legacy standpoint when we talk about all the greats and all the challenges they had to come and go over. Nas and Jay Z, Eminem beefing with Corla Ray's dad, and all these other people. So that's where it's going to hurt him the most. So. I almost want Kendrick Lamar to rip him a new asshole, go completely personal, and force him to respond with something. Or he's going to have to go at somebody at least a little bit lower level, like a Wale type or something, cook them so people that could at least say he's battle-tested. But personally, I'll probably never put him at first. I don't think he could be the best of his generation anymore. I'm, I'm still comfortable putting him in front of Drake, though, but... Um, Kendrick, I can't give him that crown no more. You got something got to happen, something got to shake, but we'll leave it at that. Um, because I've always thought Kendrick was the best modern rapper from the like twenty, you know, tens generation out of all of them, especially artists put together at the bottom. I always thought he was better. That hasn't really changed. All he really, all this did was really confirm what I've already thought. So unfortunately, I lose. But yeah, Kendrick whole blood, nigga, t- leaving the smoke to the youngsters. You got it, uncle. Do your thing. I think the fall off not being his best work would be such a disappointment. Crazy. JID really got done wrong, bro. Kendrick and Keem v. Cole and Jid would have been a master class because he really would have went b- to bat with him. Yep. If Kendrick real, he'll still just dis- dis- call. I would. <laughs> I would. I would. I won't lie to you. Um, if Cole, the thing is, Cole will probably need to step out because someone will try to shoot at someone because of everything. I think the problem is I don't know I just I just don't think he wanted to get all the personal like I don't know again I respect him as a man but as as a as as a rap fan that was weak to me I didn't see Lupe say I'll battle anybody that moves me I'm a Lupe fan he's one of my like six favorites so if Lupe go out somebody go out Royce or something let me see Royce versus Lupe or Royce versus like Crooked Eye or something like I, I, I'm or um Lupe versus Crooked Eye or something like I'm here for that like. I think someone asked me the other day, what's my favorite, like, lyrical miracle, this rapping song? And I'm like, oh, Lupe, Mural. That's easy. I got to think, I got to think, I got to think about some other ones. Lupe versus Kendrick, bro. Lupe not losing. I got Lupe, personally. But I love, I'd like to see it. But I don't think, I don't think he's going to go for it. I think he wants to be, I think he's focused on taking out Drake and being solidified as the best of his generation and his time period and currently in modern times. And then he'll move on. To legend if he feels like it. Um, but, yeah, man. Because, like, here's... Because my, my friend asked me this, too. And I'm like, I don't, see, I don't see it, but I suppose that could help him. It's like, basically, if Cole has the best last album out of Drake, Kendrick, and, and um, himself, would that mean something? Let's say Drake drops for the cats. For the catty them. And it's like, I am... Kendrick dropped something after Mr. Morale and the Stepper and it's I. Right, it's cool. But the fall off is crazy and his best work easily. And I'm like, that's a that's a strong way to end, but I I still think he'd always like he'd oh, no matter what, he has a chink in his armor. That's a, that's really what it is. No matter what happens now, there's always something you can attack. The same way with Drake. No matter what he does, and I'm winning I'm giving him his respect. I miss I misjudged the man. I did. People will always have questions about the Ghost Rider, Quentin Miller stuff. He's always going to have that looming over him. No, he, He'll never shake that. That's just unfortunate. It is what it is, but that'll always be in, some, in the back of a lot of people's minds. Like, did you write this? Did you get help writing this? Mm, so, Kendrick's the only one that doesn't, doesn't have that. I think people's biggest thing against Kendrick is that he, doesn't, he, took, a fi- he took five years off, but... I come from the era where you don't have to drop a song every other fucking day for it just to be on. Take your time. Quality over quantity. Lupe and Royce dissed each other like two, three years ago. I didn't even know that. I'm, I'm going to miss that. That's crazy. I'm going to look at that. I think something Kendrick naturally has over the majority of other rap niggas is delivery is, t- is, is too perfectly suited for going out of that ni- a nigga's neck. Speaking from the perspective of the masses, Cole's having having a great project would still leave him at bronze. Speaking about discographies, Cole will never stack up to Kendrick and Drake. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not mad at that. I do think I do think Cole's discography is underrated, underappreciated, but I'm not I don't think he has a better body of work than them. But most Drake fans tell me he hasn't dropped anything good 
um really after like views or something like, like they don't most people i know i know don't like certified lover boy or scorpion or um other ones but i'm not a drake guy so i don't know any better drake a pussying out from pusher and throwing sneak this is is a chink to me okay that's fair um fact no other rapper could have niggas called a niggas bum delivery <laughs> drake hasn't dropped anything great since views yeah so to me sometimes if you have too much workout but i, I mean yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't try to go discography for discography but we'll just have to see what happens like for me it's one of, one of those things where like I'm, i won't lie to you i'm like i'm still processing everything like if someone looked at me like is J. Cole still your favorite rapper i'm kind of like i don't even know bro <laughs> i gotta just see how things end up and shake ask me in two years <laughs> I don't know. I don't even like rap right now. I'm joking, but like, yeah. Um, since views, is it views? Yeah, I don't know how long is that. 2016. I don't know how long that is, but a lot of people have been like, this. He don't put. He don't put. He don't put together a lot of good projects no more. Um, but there's only there's very few people I I think have like no bad projects. I'd actually put Cole in there. I don't think Cole's a bad project. I'm sure someone disagrees, but I just want to put them all in like the highest tier and the highest caliber. Um, born KOD and born sinner. No, and um, sideline story being my least favorite. I guess my hot take too. I said this the other day. I don't think Tyler the Creator has a bad project. I'm I I mean back even back to the Wolf trilogy and Cherry Bomb. I don't think Tyler has a bad body of work. He might have songs and moments in a song I don't like, but I actually don't think he has a bad album or project. That's just me personally. Maybe I'm tripping, but i think igor is fucking fire flower boy is fire i like cherry bomb wolf is gas goblin and bastard are good um what am i forgetting call me if you get lost the estate sale all of it's fire to me it is cherry bomb i don't dislike it as much as other people do but it is my least favorite thing you put out that's just me though again drake hasn't dropped anything wait i wasn't ready y'all think this is this this a, this a last until the summer um I don't know, because I feel like Kendrick will take his time and let people sweat. I don't know. I still think he wants Drake to officially drop his the, the diss track like, on his like IG or his page and put it on his socials. So he's like, okay, Drake has officially done it. Now I'm coming for his neck. But Joe Budden said apparently they both have a diss track already, so we'll see. But K-Dot's going to come hard. And, and I agree with you, Bao. K-Dot's natural style and tendency of rap is very good. For, like, I actually... I almost want to. I almost want to say Drake has the worst style for it because he'd be singing stuff, but I don't think so. I think Cole is the worst because Cole's very like chill. Like he he'd have to put so much aggression and bass in his voice, and he don't really do that. If Kendrick don't start this week, I don't think this is going to end anytime soon. Yeah, Wolf trilogy is good to me. I agree. Tyler's really great, man. Goblin, the only thing I didn't like. Everything else to draft from Tyler has been superb to me. It's not even about like gob. Oh, I mean, to me, it's like there's like. Ones that are better than the others, I just don't think any of them are bad. Like they're all to me like at worst, good. I still need to get back and explore his older music. I tried before, but it's a big contrast. Honestly, it's hard to work backwards with him. I, I, cause his earlier stuff is much more horrorcore, dark. But just keep in context that this is Tyler doing therapy, talking about his fucked up multiple personalities, and a lot of it stems from his father not being around. So there's like Wolf Haley, Ace, Tron Cat um and different characters um that he's playing at it's dark it's not it's not for everybody it's not for the weak of heart but i have been desensitized for so de desensitized for so long that shit doesn't even bother me like i could hear that and not bat an eye i wouldn't bump it out loud so if niggas look at me crazy but i wouldn't bat an eye at that man you know how much shit i've seen in my life that shit is that shit does not phase me i watch anime i read hentai like i am so desensitized bro <laughs> And the growth is incredible to see. He's come such a long way. Because I was an odd future nigga. I was, scream I was screaming, kill people, burn shit, fuck school. Especially the fuck school part. Because <laughs> I ate a quack in class. By the way, I, I don't think this is a diss track Joe and the other people I've been talking about. Drake have been. Tyler had a major rebrand. Oh, I'm, that's interesting to me. But I do think that Drake just put this. I, I think Drake's trying to get him out of hiding with this. Like, come out. Come out, you fucking little nigga. Come out of your heart. Come out of your little bush. Like, where the fuck are you? Yeah. Tyler, a way different guy now. Yep. Tyler had to adapt to the times and he grew up. I don't think I'd be put off by the lyrics or anything. I just 
the vibe at the time I tried, and his newer stuff is all great though. Yeah, and and don't ever get it twisted. That nigga can rap. He could fucking rap. I have always been very impressed by his rapping ability. I know he he's a great producer and things like that, and he's been doing a lot more and changing up his sound. And I I I love I love that. I like when you uh, uh, change and play around with your sound, but. Don't ever think he can't bar niggas up. He could fucking rap, dude. Because I think the first song I heard with him might have been with him and Earl. I think it was Ass Milk. I heard Ass Milk before I heard, like, Yonkers and stuff. When addicts arise, when I arrive and it's some, some cut, cut back in this. I said, who the fuck is this? This is that Piff era, blog era. This is what I'm finding in Charles Hamilton, XV, a.k.a. Vizzy, the kid with the green backpack, Cole, I'm 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 learning about ASAP, the Beast Coast coming, Flatbush, and my niggas are coming. Like I I'll never forget that era of music, bro. Discovering all those people, S- so iconic, man. Um, him and Earl um were my favorite for my feature easily, and then I'd probably go with Sid. I love she could sing her ass off. She could sing her ass. Off. Sid is amazing. I know probably people would probably go Frank Ocean after. I never really I never really listened to Frank like that, but. I I might give him a chance. Currently, I'm I'm my I'm on my Kanye grind. That's why I be, that's why the whole time I was doing this, I, I, I could go mm 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 mm. It's almost so judgmental. <laughs> mm 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 mm. <laughs> Cause I really I really haven't listened to Kanye since he did his fucking Watch the Throne shit with Jay Z. I'm like, damn, I'm really far behind. I haven't heard Life of Pablo. I haven't heard Yeezus. I haven't heard Donda. Now he's dropping Vultures with Ty Dolla Sign. Like, I gotta catch up. So. I got to Donda. I'm on Donda right now, essentially. But Kanye is special, bro. Like, I don't know how you feel about him as a man. I don't follow all the antics, but that nigga is special. He could create music like the... Oh, God, his production is insane. New Magic Wanda, my favorite song from Tyler. What's my favorite Tyler, the creator song? What Analog, analog came to mind immediately. I don't know why. Can you beat me by the lake? No, how did the song go? Can you can you meet me by the lake when the stars and the moon? And then we, now, mine is Sorry Not Sorry. That's probably my favorite Tyler song. Sorry I'm Not Sorry. Um, I like Earthwake. And then my dear us, and then my dear us, and I got my lot. The Playboy just come. Um, New Magic Wand is fire though. Him and Earl. Oh, is it Smuckers from Cherry Bomb? There's one song on Cherry Bomb I really like. I gotta look, go back. Him and Earl. Tyler also got an amazing voice for rapping. Yeah. And it's this thing, you know it's him. And him and Pusha and him and ASAP have some, and Rocky have some um, some classics. He can rap for sure. Hearing 42 Doug and the Young Boy on Tyler's album a couple years ago made me realize how tough they could be if they would rap on different types of sounds. Kanye as a music maker is legendary, man. Have you listened to Bruno since that stream? No, I haven't because I've been going through. I kind of went through the women first. So I went through like, um, I y'all turned me into a little Sims fucking stand. I love that song, um, Introvert Off Might Be Introvert, where she was rapping about like the political state of the world. She's on the stairs. I'm like, dog, she's fucking nice. And Gorilla, um, woman, I want to see you glow. I like her. I listen to uh, Doichi. BK the ruler. I like BK the ruler. I like her sound. I get it. I get her sound. I just need her to stop telling me she's gonna turn my bitch gay. Um, Che Noir, Sarok, Chica. Who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting somebody. I re-listened to Snow the product because I haven't listened to Snow the product in a long time. I forgot, and I still think she might be the best one. I, and then I, I kind of had to rediscover Rhapsody from where I left off in like 2016 with Rhapsody, I suppose. I realized, that I, I, I realized that Rhapsody was somebody I listened to and didn't realize I was listening to her the same way I've heard Playboy Cardi my like entire life and didn't realize it was him on somebody's song. I'll get to, I'll get to Bruno though. And um, him and um, Anderson Park are on the, on the list. I like my bitches straight too, brother. And I got more luck. And I got heroes. And then I got it up. <laughs> but yeah. And then I was listening to a little bit of Earl's new stuff from like some rap songs and after. I tried to give Dax a f- super fair chance. I was listening to Dax. Dax is just one of those niggas I just like very specific songs from him. I don't like him from top to bottom, but he has songs that I like. 
Oh, Coyle Ray was who I was forgetting. I Lotto. I tried Lotto, Coyle Ray, Lakia. None of them move me. I'm sorry. These whole these horrors are not good, bro. They're just all they do is my coochie wet. Ooh, put it on your neck. Uh, fifty inch bust down. It's just like shut up. It's just like you're just like the niggas. Uh, come around, fuck around, spring the block. Uh, hit my niggas in the face with the ops. Uh, I'm like shut up, nigga. Oh my god, turn it off. We all just so one dimensional. I can't. I can't. I can't, bro. That's just me though. We need a WAP reaction. <laughs> I already. I've already. I've already seen the song. We need some creativity. Thank you. That's what I'm saying, man. But that, 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 that's mainstream. Mainstream is super dead. But let me show you guys some of these stupid little dumbass little things that I've seen. I, I ended up liking Travis Scott. I get it. I get it. I get why motherfuckers like him. I don't. I have no heat with Travis. I think um, Rodeo is my favorite, though. Rodeo, then maybe Astro World. And was it Road before Rodeo? That, that's some shit I liked on it too. I didn't like the the the, the joint thing he had really. Um, oh, also, I listened to after I heard Pie. I had to go listen to Absol Herbert. <sighs> My nigga Absolar, bro. I love that nigga. He's special. My favorite Lupe album is Tetsu is Tetsu and Youth. Then the Cool. Tetsuo and Youth. I think that album's underrated. But I but I won't lie to you, that album was made for me. <laughs> like that's a, that's a like Naya. What if I made songs that you'd like like Prisoner? Lo uh lock it lo lock the door and throw it the key and throw it the key like the code god watching me. I love I love I love that album. I don't walk, I don't fuck with these niggas. Oh god, if it up to me, I won't trust these niggas. I'll lock these niggas and throw away the key and throw away the key like the code god's watching me. And then Merle, you understand? I, just, I, Merle is one of the few songs that's always been in my rotation. There's not many songs that I've listened to like essentially my entire life, or since I've heard it, I've always played it. I'll give you another one. Why don't I remember the name of the song? It's a flat buzz. It's a flat buzz zombie song. It's not coming to me right now. I don't know why. But there's there's this line I resonated with because this is back when I was a demon, and he's like. I'ma tell you lies. I'ma fuck your friends. We can never be a lover. We can pray, pretend. Just open them legs and let a nigga in. Uh, let a nigga in. Uh, I'm on my first blunt. Uh, she on her first nut. Slick top, pip top. This is what you want. I'm on. like, I, that shit. Uh, every like every other day, that song gonna come on. There's certain songs that just never leave my rotation. Mural is one of them. But yeah, I would say that. Then the cool. I'll do a Lupe um album ranking one day. I can do that. That's my, he's one of my favorites, so I have no problem doing that. Okay. Let me show you this, these stupid ass things, though. <laughs> I actually think these things are these are mad funny. Well, I'll 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 do the first four. So, it's it's a it's a guy like he like edits like the funny like you know little you know little animation thing in a jig, and it just it just like trying to explain the album really quickly. I'm not gonna put myself on it on the on the screen for now, but. I don't know why. I won't lie to you. This, this shit makes me laugh. I'm I'm a child though, so but yeah. You, you tell me what you guys think, and tell me if it's too loud or not loud enough. These things are so funny to me. Uncle Kendrick. I got, I got, I got, I got this. Uncle Kenny now. I feel like I'm boxing pockets. Sit down. Hold up, hold up. It's levels to it. It ain't fast no more. I got, I got, I got, I got an A. This is what I feel like. <laughs> I don't know why this shit. You understand? Like last night, I was like, I was fried out my mind listening to this shit. Just. You know, after in my fucking garage, bro. I'm like, why is this shit so fucking funny to me? <laughs> this one got me alive. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Nah, I I love channels like this, like Terminal Montage. Y'all keep animating your ass off. I'm gonna always support y'all, man. I always got y'all back. Star Wars, Chewbacca. My leather black jeans on. The red October's get the Porsche out the damn garage. And lightly smash your Corolla. And I know she likes chocolate.
hurry up with my damn croissants. <laughs> Still ain't learn me no manners. Uh. I just listened to that album, so I feel like I'm late to it, but <laughs> just Uncle Kendrick. That's one of my favorite songs too. Call me nine one one. How Kendrick J Cole? Oh my God! Just leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Let me escape. I don't want to get out my algorithm. I just want to forget it ever happened. <laughs> I, I I don't know if y'all will get this. I listened to the weekend. Maybe y'all. I, I never actually watched it. I listened to the weekend, so I don't know. Just taste me back to like new ground days of like just just stupid <laughs> wiggling jiggling the nonsense like just new grounds like back at like I don't know I don't know well, just there's there's more there's more we gotta do Igor we gotta do Good Kid Mad City we gotta do because of the internet we'll do Astro World my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. He said not on stick figure clips. Yeah, those went. Yeah, yeah, those went. Those went crazy. Those went hard. Those went hard for real. Um. Okay. We back. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. No, this this was one, this this was one of my favorite ones because Playboy Cardi is in the back for like for so long. <laughs> Because like the more I the more I dive into like you know the kind of era I miss, I realize how much people really love Playboy Cardi, like angelic voice. But yeah, I'm gonna my All right. Do a DJ have a dream? Nintendo. DJ have a dream? Nintendo. Banana pudding. What's my problem? Where is the lock? It that away. Air conditioner in the trunk. Start up that Maserati. Vroom, vroom. Me the right, the left, and the right. For lock it. Park it in front of church's chicken. Mm. Hey, that you good? Get the fuck up on my way, bitch. This the last time you might see my ass. We live in a world. <laughs> we live in a world. <laughs> I will do one of those um all song rankings at some point. By the way, I want to do it for my for like my favorite people who I've listened to like their all the biography. I'm gonna do one of those rankings where like um let me just go on this screen for a second. Uh, where like <laughs> you can rank all. The, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I want to do it. So yeah. 
Henry was really the best and worst of all time. There are so many things from back then. Do you know, like, I know the song Bohemian Rhapsody because of Newgrounds? Because like, it's like a Mega Man like music video. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? So, shout out to Newgrounds, man. Iconic. Uh, where, where was he? Naya had a dream. I had a dream. Oh, I got my cool on. Are you eating no? Yo, yo, yo. I don't give a fuck about my family. <laughs> yo, I got the Uber. Fiskers make noise. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Mama Bob, wanna take shots? shots. I'm winning. I ain't fucking with you. Check out that video I did. Sorry. You wanna play pool? All she needed was something. All she needed was something. All she needed was a rainbow sunshine everywhere you go. I'll honestly bump into the internet uh, because of the internet earlier. Going crazy. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Mr. 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 Scott. I've always preferred Combino to Drake. I mean, I do, but. I have to be nice to Drake because he's he's uh he's doing what I wish Cole would do. So I gotta I gotta I gotta be a Toronto I gotta be a Toronto man. <laughs> I gotta rock with, I gotta ride with the Toronto man thing. You know you don't know family. You don't know your Z. Are you stupid? Are you crazy? Are you dumb? Yo, pick one, fam. Yo, pick one, doc. So I gotta ride with him. I'm <laughs> home. Who's that? If I take you to that show, world, you would be traumatized. Yeah, that's what I like. At the gate outside, yeah, 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 yeah. Hop off the jet and I get a jet. Pay the price, yeah. Where is he? Who with he jets? Kind of behind. Fifteen hours till I land. Oh my. He slap <laughs> nav like that. Now play him on an island. Um, oh, re real quick. Uh, <laughs> I always prefer. Yeah, yeah, I like Gambino a lot. Um, what's your favorite Gambino song? If you guys have one, I'm trying to think what mine is. Am I basic? If I no, I like that. I like you and your mama. It's not my favorite song though. Da la 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 la. I like that song. It's not. It's, it's not. This is America. Is it? It's not Pink Toes either. There's there's a there's a couple of songs from that one. We party till the sun up, nigga. One up. Damn it. It's been a while, bro. It's been a while. I'll say Pink Toes for now. I'm, I'm gonna listen to everything again. It's been a while since I really went through. I listened to a little bit of because of the internet, just because of that little skit that I saw. It made me want to listen to it, but um. I'm going to finish my Kanye re-listen re re and watch and everything, though. But Kanye, Kanye is him, bro. Kanye, Kanye might not really have a bad album either. I could I could just say, like, this one. I, I don't, I'm not a gospel guy like that. I don't even know. If, I don't know if I think Jesus is bad or not yet. I have to keep listening to it. But I don't know if I want to keep listening to Jesus. <laughs> but um, what's this? Cardi fans be like, <laughs> I'm going to watch that later tonight. See if it's funny. <laughs> Hey, teachers, how do you? <laughs> Homie school finished, this the real world. I need a job. My resume, that's me. I'm killing this shit. Profit. Can't see my back. I'm not giving a F. I'm taking chase. Hey, something wrong. That's a bad way to start the conversation. I don't know why my brain just with this dumbass shit. It is what it is, though. We'll do Eminem, Frankie. We'll do. I don't. I don't listen to gorillas like that, so I might not get this. I'll get do. We'll do Donder. I think these are the last ones.
do do who do do Kendrick? I'm probably gonna do. I'm, I'm probably gonna do a top like a stream where we talk about our favorite um, artists and stuff soon. So just stay tuned for that. I like talking about music. I didn't think I would. You gon' freeze up. I only want what's right in front of me. We can't get close. The city's empty. I can't see. I'm falling. Yay. Bonita. I appreciate you. We cruising. Every time. That's when you don't get four 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 now. To order after four ninety five plus. See, if I listen to the weekend more, I'd probably get that, but I don't, so I don't really get it. But thank you, Abdul. I appreciate you, bro. We we kind of spoke about everything at the beginning, and I listened to the songs because um, I didn't really. I had only heard the Drake thing once, and then the Ross. I was in the shower, and all I did was hear this man talking about you're a white boy, you got a BBL and a big nose, and I was like, nigga, are you gonna rap? <laughs> so that shit was the Rick Ross shit was complete utter garbage to me, but I think Drake had a really solid response, and and considering it's a, like twenty v one, good shit, bro. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. Can't complain. I'm like, like, I don't know. I feel very supported. I, this is like the first time I feel like very supported. Like I feel like all my numbers and all my socials have been going up. Even if it's slow, they've been going up. And I'm, I'm, and I'm very proud of like some of the things that I've been doing and working on. So, but um, yeah. Right now, I'm just showing y'all some stupid videos I found last night that made me laugh way too hard. I probably I was cooked, but yeah. We're gonna go through the last couple of it. I'm gonna call it a I streamed like three times today. So this is Marshall. This is this is Mr. Mr. Eminem. Apparently this album finally got beaten out by something in a rap game. Some album just beat it not too long ago. Because they're like the most popular rap ever ever created in history. All you had to do was threaten to quit and everyone came out to <laughs> Which is kind of crazy, but hey. Um I appreciate y'all though. I probably will never I never will, but yeah, it just it was getting it was getting I was doing I was doing way too much side side quest content for not enough rewards, man. It's getting it's getting And whatever. I'm not Mr. Insane. Fuck. Slim, my girlfriend's in the post office. <laughs> Hit me back. Y'all act like you never seen a person before. <laughs> Sometimes I scribble. Oh. Glad I call me man. I said download our bitch. How fuck your bitch? Stupid to do what? I'm sorry, I just been busy. Why are you so mad? So long. I did used to watch Hot Damn I Rock. One of my all time favorite videos. You, you, I haven't about this. Oops, and, all, and one of my all-time favorite videos is um, the Mario and Luigi one. You're just a player two ass nigga. I used to say, I used to call people player two and player four ass niggas for a hot year, <laughs> for like a hot year. Just I'm like you, such a player four ass nigga. You like extension, <laughs> like I was like that was my thing. Like, um, it's to the point where um, my sister gave me a key tray that's on my key that says player one on it with the heart on it. Like, but yeah, um, Kane, um, his name Kane Carter, right? The Hot Diamond Rock. Yeah. I used to watch his shit back in the day. Um, not everything, but he was funny. 
I know he like got really sick and stuff too, and he had this one video where he was talking about something that like I I had that moment which was crazy. Hello, Naya number one. That's sweet. Yeah, sucks. His channel got hacked. Oh, it did. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, now he had this one video where he was talking about some things that you know what he went through, or whatever, and he talked about like. He was really sick and vomiting, and he couldn't understand why this one girl kept like fucking with him and coming and taking care of him. Cause he's like not a great person in his mind, and she's like, "But you don't hit me." And then it, he like had that moment that like a lot of like promiscuous men at some point you have a moment where you realize you've done a lot of damage to people in your past, and two things happen: it hurt, it hits you, and it resonates with you, and you're like, "Damn it." And like you try to rep, you try to like fix it. Like I remember when it happened to me. Like I would say, like I never used like the excuse that I was young. I was four, when I was fourteen, and I was talking to three different girls. I knew what I was doing. I knew it was wrong because I'm lying. I apologize for all those things and and stuff like that. I, I was like a twenty like five year old. Like you know, back when I did this and I did that. You, know, I really am sorry for that. Like that was kind of fucked up on my part. You know, like stuff like that. Like so, it's just kind of crazy. So, but shout out to him though. Um, niggas discriminating against the player secretly had that same bias in my head. I did for sure. Yeah, he had a bad three fours. I remember he was, and it was because he was really like sick too. Like something was wrong with him. Like he lost a lot of weight. But um, shout out to him though. I hope that he can get his channel back and stuff. I hope he's. Just, I just hope he's doing well in life. Like he's one of those people I'll just root for. Like I just hope that life is treating him well. You know, it was a god. <laughs> I I unpacked why I was the way I was though. It was um if you guys don't know, I was I was assaulted. Um why am I why am I centering this? It's about me. Sexually assaulted by members older women in my family and one older guy in my family when I was single digit ages and that messed me up for a long time. Without me really realizing it. Like that like a lot of those learned behaviors and bad things that happened to me before I was really ready is the reason why I could never really pair bond for a long time. So, but yeah, I was not the man I am today. I, I grew up a lot, you know, a lot of people, when they talk, a lot of people who know me my whole life, they, they see me in a lot, a lot differently now, but see, I don't, I never heard this one either. So y'all tell me if this is funny or accurate. Cause I'm not a Frank Ocean nigga, but yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Who is that supposed to be? I'm not brave. Hand me a towel. Everything says we gotta leave. the hell is that, is that like a, a delicious hamburger <laughs> joint or something deep shit you gotta throw it you gotta grow at some point yeah this is why I, one of the things that i tell a lot of the, for whatever reason a lot of the little niggas around here look up to me and stuff like that um a lot of it's for the wrong reason but i try to curb them i'm like oh my god bitches i'm like oh come on man um i tell this to a lot of people if you were a victim of something that was completely not your fault, it isn't your fault, but you, you, it is your job to heal from it. You have to overcome it and do the work to unpack the trauma and all that to heal from it. That's on you. It's, it's unfortunate sometimes an adult will take advantage of you. That's not your fault. You don't know any better. You're just a child, but it's up to you to heal. Don't just go back in the world and hurt more people. That, that's how I look at it, at the very least. So, kids with guns. If I cuss, I wanna hear the beat. Oh, shit. Watch the shower, bitch. Fast cat. Don't stop. Yeah. Um, no. 
<laughs> I'm some MF mother effing dual man. But yeah, yeah, that's 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 just how I look at it. But <clears throat> I did the work to. I mean, I'm. I don't think you should ever stop growing though. Like, don't be one of those people who are like, now that I'm this age and I went through this deal and I overcame it, I am. Now I am all better. Like, no, always keep trying to grow and keep trying to get better mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, physically, all of those things. Like, just keep trying to grow. Do your best. Like, just do your best. I'm not trying to turn this into a lecture. Talk about, it's, I'm watching dumb shit. Looks like it's going to be a great day today. I'm wrestling. What? Five dollars laying right there in the street. Now let's get something to eat. At the stop and go more. Doritos, Cheetos, or Fritos. Ooh, hey you, don't touch the beer. Uh, what is jalapenos? Ah, <laughs> uh, what do we know? Oh yeah. I miss Andre, man. I wish he still really made, like, not flute music, but. As long as he's happy doing what he's doing, I can't be mad at it. I just listened to this album, so. <laughs> this should finally make sense to me. I did watch it already, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mask on my face, you can't see. We off the grid, grid, grid. I wanna go to the moon. Post my bell. Post my bell. Excuse my mouse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you, this is one of the funniest videos I've ever seen, by the way. The first black person to say the N-word. That was cool. That was a great. <laughs> that was a great. That was that was cinema, bro. Basically, this is the sense if you get lost, Tyler. The sun beaming. Rolls Royce pull up. The luggage is piling. Passport looking Excuse me, me, pardon me. Where's the sugar? You look malnourished. Geneva water, the best. This is beautiful. You always keep the picnic blankets in the back. They playing games. Throw the ball to me. Tell I got the vision. You should be embarrassed. Okay, I gotta cope with losing. I hate Drizzy and Cole. Bitch. Did you? Does anybody notice that like Weezy always goes super hard on Tyler songs? Is that just me? Never not delivered like a super high quality um verse. When he when he pairs with Tyler, I feel like some people just like okay, I really fuck with this little nigga or that person. Like I'll make sure I come like with some fire. Like I don't know something I noticed. I feel like I was done really well on this song. Like he be snapping, he be snapping. You said like, missing his Kendrick, his Kendrick. Oh boy, you don't want Kung Fu Kenny, man. Say that you a lesbian, girl. Me too. <laughs> Who knew that we would sell pies? Yeah. Money calling. Hey, man, speak the game. Okay, okay. I gotta do something. I'm coming. Hold the payment. Tell me what type of payment is that? <laughs> Not sure if you know, but I'm actually Michael Jackson. <laughs> These boys on a resort. The flights I'm taking. Seaside. Just touched down. You broke it down the door. Is that man all right? <coughs> you know you important and shit. Drizzy. Yo. I'm still hungry. <laughs> this 
still loopholes that I use, nobody knows. You find an order the loopholes, you tell me exactly what you need. The goofy nigga made it decent. That's what I'm saying. Like, I like that. Like, <laughs> oh, oh. Cardi? Is Cardi next? <laughs> the car, my lord. This is the last one. This is the last one. This is the Kendrick Lamar. And Mr. Morale and the big st Push these n off me like. <laughs> We'll see how long this takes and we'll see what happens but the crown up for like the modern era of the game is up for debate up for grabs um i know what i expect to happen i just expect kendrick to win i kind of haven't thought that he wasn't hasn't really been the best amongst his generation like really ever if i'm being honest i'd probably stop now because it's like since section 80s which is which is fair um i thought cole was we're going to challenge him. I guess not. So between him and Drake, we'll see what goes on. But I don't think Drake will be an easy opponent to take down. But we're going to see what happens. But tell Rick Ross to take his fat belly out of this conversation. <laughs> like, I, like, I just don't. I just nothing I care to hear about Rick Ross, Future, or especially Metro fucking booming. Like, I'm so in line with that. Make some fucking drums, nigga. Sit your whole ass down and make some effing drums. If Kendrick loses... Pusha T dessert deserves more respect than he already does. I don't think Kendrick. I honestly like as much as I'm already surprised with how things have worked and shaped out because I guess I just I just I just didn't my pro my observation hockey is garbage right now. Um, I really don't think any of them niggas can rap like Kendrick, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Maybe he gonna show me something. Um, Bow had me listen to a few of like the Drake timestamps timestamp songs. I'm like. Why doesn't he rap more often? Like, he could like, just rap like this. Like, he's a really good rapper. I just never had him amongst the absolute greatest lyricists. But Drake is petty and has good subliminals and shots. And there's things he can brag about that other people don't have because he's on the top of the rap game, like numbers and stuff. I do think Kendrick has as many accolades as him from, like, Grammys and a Pulitzer, which I don't think thing has, and, like, BET Awards. Because I know at one point, I think Drake took them out off. He's like, fuck the Grammys type shit. But um, we'll see. I don't see a world where Kendrick loses, to be honest. Wayne picked Drake for a reason. He can rap, but he just doesn't do enough. I mean, credit where credit is due. Like, this thing is a hit maker. Like, I'll, like as much as I don't always care about some of the little things here and there, I like to give credit where credit is due. I'm not a Drake stan. I, by any, again, I think I just don't like Canadians. I don't know. But right now, because I don't have – I'm, I'm going to ally myself with him just right now, with Toronto gang, and just see what happens. Because one thing I'm going to say, if it's like 20v1, you hold your own, like – Gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. I'm a, I'm a, I bowed out. Okay, I lost. My horse is dead. My horse said, my horse said, fuck everybody. I'm finna win. And said, actually, I don't want to race. And went home. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm out of it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, do I have anything else to say or do? I don't. So y'all be safe. Have a good night. If uh, let me know if anything happens while I'm like editing or whatever or sleeping. I don't know if Kendrick will drop. I heard. I saw. I saw something just now. Like I was looking at my phone. But it was it was AI. I'm like Kendrick would not rap that weak ass shit. But we'll see what happens. Be safe, everyone. Good night. Naya had a dream.